Rob, literally a month now to the new season, uh, and there's a real buzz around the place. The guys are back in and, and training hard. Yeah, I think it's you always get to this stage sometimes you pre, in, during pre-season where you start to look and you start to think the next stage is some real kind of, I suppose, games type, type scenarios and you just want to see how people are up and running and ready to go. And if you watch the session today, you would say that some guys are definitely ready to play. Um, you know, nobody wants to rush into games. You know, it's going, to be a, it's going to be a decent length season anyway. But I do get the feeling that the group of players we've got here who are training are starting to feel like they're ready to go. And I think it's a nice start to the season. It's going to be an interesting start to the season um, uh, with the cup competition first. It makes things a little bit different. It makes things our approach a little bit different. That we're not we're not building up towards a, a warm up game. And our preparation has to be slightly different because obviously we're going into a game with 23 players, whereas normally you know our first couple of warm up games we go with 30 guys, and you don't have to risk playing guys for too long or worrying about injuries or overplaying. It's going to be a, it's going to be an interesting challenge for us to build up our intensity through. Uh, our training sessions for the guys who are ready to go when you know a lot of them are going to have to play 80 minutes that first game up. Is it a nice challenge for you though as a coach that it's something different? I know we had it perhaps four years ago but we had the West Country Cup mm. then wasn't it? It was You had some warm-up fixtures. Yeah, I, I think you know, I think it's quite an interesting challenge and I think it's going to be interesting how each, each club goes after things whether whether clubs go maybe not their frontline squad in the first two rounds and then use the last two rounds as getting prepped up or whether teams go their two home fixtures as their frontline fixtures or whether you go hard in one, rotate in the second then hard again and then have, a, have the week off before the pre-season starts. Every club's going to do it slightly differently and I think that will make it a really interesting competition because you'll get you'll get those that variety of, of teams playing against each other which will create really good opportunities particularly for young players and academy guys or, or new players who are joining the club. And you've got the added mix as well, you're going to lose boys to the World Cup. Um, which is which is going to add add to your whole conundrum of it all almost. Yeah, I think I think it's another it's another nice interesting step for us because you know the the, rea- the reality is to to win things and to do well in more than one competition you have to have some strength in your squad for obvious reasons and I think what this is this is almost forcing on us is that with the number of players we either either got away in the World Cup now or or injured because you know Elvis and, and Sam Skinner are back but they're both both injured. Um, uh, it's, it's a little bit kind of like well, we're, we know we've got to push our depth, we know we've got to give some extra opportunities to some academy players, we've, we've brought in for the first time in pre-season some injury dispensation players, we've never done it in pre-season before, we've done it through the season, we've never started the season with a couple of injury dispensation players, so we've actually, we've actually got the opportunity there to create quite a deep and experienced squad by the time the World Cup finishes. Obviously we want to get our internationals back in one piece and, and feeling good about the World Cup and, and that will be important. But at the same time, you know, we've got to focus on the guys who are here. You know, it's the guys who are here that will win the games for us, um, and our focus is very much on them. The guys who are away, obviously, with the World Cup squads, we wish them the very best. But actually, they're not at the forefront of our minds. You know, we're not we're not spending every day wishing they were back here. We're spending every day working with the players we've got here, and that should only help develop them. And as I say, create greater depth across the squad over the course of the season. You talk about Elvis and and Sam there with injuries. That's a a bitter blow for both of them, especially in World Cup, where you'd expect them probably to have featured. It is. I mean, it's tough, um, and it, it, it's but it's it is one of those things with rugby. You know, you go through seasons and you pick up injuries, and it's it's amazing the amount of the amount of eight or nine or ten week injuries that a squad pick up now over the course of the season. But it's incredible how quickly guys are back. You know, you look and you see guys have an eight week injury, and to start with, your first feeling is oh. We're not, we're not going to see them again for ages and then all of a sudden you're looking around and they're back in the team. You know, the, the blocks of games come and go, come and go so quickly and you move on so quickly and players step up so quickly um, that you've just got to keep moving forward positively and then all of a sudden you've got this fresh player back and they reintroduce themselves and they drive you on again and I thought last season was a perfect example of that. We probably didn't really get what we'd cause our frontline squad together probably until the last month of the season and then we were running into the semi-final and final hoping that we had enough game time into us and we actually performed perform very well in the last couple of games so that's the challenge over the course of the season that this, the squad will cycle through injuries and availabilities uh, and fitness issues and energy issues but actually you've got to just keep moving forward and keep targeting getting yourself ready for the bigger games and, and making sure you're consistent enough through the season that the big games will come around.